Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple finally announced WWDC 25. They've officially announced it, and it's the Worldwide Developer Conference for 2025. I thought we'd go over everything to expect, where you can watch it, what to expect as far as software updates, hardware, and more. Now, Apple officially announced this today for June 9th, 2025. You'll see it will be available entirely online and is free for all developers. Unfortunately, it's not an in-person event with the exception of those that they invite and then they can watch it together online. So they're not having a live keynote or anything it looks like. And that's something many of us were really hoping for. It takes place from June 9th to the 13th. So if you're a developer, you'll be able to see it at developer.apple.com. Or if you have the developer app, you can see it there. So under the developer app, you can see a week of technology and creativity, and you can see the latest news. So you can learn more about it. So if we go into learn more about WWDC 25, You'll see a nice new animation there we'll talk about in a moment, but it says be there for the reveal of the latest Apple tools, frameworks, and features. Learn to elevate your apps and games through video sessions hosted by Apple engineers and designers. Engage with Apple experts and labs and connect with the worldwide developer community all online and at no cost. You can add it to your calendar if you have this app, and then you can experience this. You'll be able to watch the keynote typically online, whether that's on Apple or YouTube or just on your YouTube app, or you can use it on the iPhone through Safari as well. Typically the keynote takes place around 10 AM Pacific time, 1 PM Eastern time on June 9th. So that's what we can expect as far as that. And if you want to apply as a developer, you can do that as well. So you can request to attend and watch it together with everyone else that's invited as well. Oftentimes Apple will pick developers. So if you're a developer, I don't typically apply to this as I'm basically making videos and I may be invited by Apple. We'll know more about that later on. But as far as going there, I don't typically apply because I'm not developing an app and I want to leave that space open for other people. But if you want to check it out, I'll link this in the description if you don't have the app as well. Now, if I reload the page, you can see the logo sort of bounces and has a different look to it. The overall logo you can see has this glass look to it, which is what iOS 19 is rumored to look like more like vision OS where it's got a lot of translucency. And then you could see that bouncy animation. And if we go to X or Twitter, Greg Joswiak posted this as well, saying you're going to want to save the date for the week of June 9th, WWDC 25. So again, we can expect quite a few things this week. So the overall animation hints at what we could see sort of new animations, which is something the animation team has been great at lately. Just iOS has been buggy. So I'm hoping that Apple's really working on the next version of iOS. And with iOS 19, we expect the same support we have with iOS 18. Many people are saying that we can expect the same support with the iPhone 10 R 10 S 10 S max, all the way up to the 16 pro and 16 pro max. Now we won't know this for sure until Apple officially announces it on June 9th, but at least we'll get a look at what it will support on that date. So it's only a few months away at this point and we'll know hundred percent what they support. But at this time, many people are saying it will support the same devices. So I think that's great news. Now also on the same day, of June 9th, we can expect quite a few things. So just a few months away here and on June 9th, what we can expect is iOS 19. Apple will show off the latest software with iOS 19. And then typically after the event, maybe around 4 PM Eastern time, they release the first beta. So we typically get that after the event and we're expecting the biggest update ever, according to the recent leaks. So according to Mark German, John Prosser, and some others, this should be the biggest update ever with a full redesign. We heard this could have been the, the way Apple was going to do things a couple years ago, but then they delayed it because of Apple intelligence. It looks like iOS 19 is going to finally be that redesign. So we could maybe see some changes with the overall operating system, maybe an all new control center, maybe finally split view or split screen and just that overall redesign. What they're saying about the redesign is that it's going to have a consistency and unification on the design across all devices. So iOS, iPad OS, watch OS, Mac OS, and more. Also, it's loosely based on vision OS principles, meaning that we'll have round icons maybe, or maybe at least the option for that. And then we could have a couple other things. So something I created a while ago is this new design look for iOS 19, where we could have some round icons. I'm not sure that we'll get this at all, but this is something we could have as far as an option goes. So we don't know that. 
and we could also see a fundamental re-architecture of how the devices look and feel, again according to Mark Gurman, meaning that the overall usability would be completely different. Maybe apps will open differently, the animations could be different, maybe they'll expand and contract, maybe we'll have a lot more depth, but a lot of this information has not leaked out yet, so Apple is definitely working on some sort of redesign or re-architecture, but hopefully it doesn't look like the Photos app as many people have been very critical of the way this looks. I really don't mind it myself once I customized it, but the initial setup is just too busy. But Maybe it follows along those design principles, but if it follows Vision OS, I would welcome that with a lot of depth and reflection and the way it looks, I think is great. Either way, Mark Gurman is saying it will change the way you use the device forever going forward. So they're working to simplify the way users navigate and control their devices. Of course, we'll hopefully get that Siri with context update that's been long delayed. So not just the animation, but actually context to understand what's already on your phone when you ask it a question. I'm not very hopeful with this, but there are some people in place that should really help with this and take this seriously and get this taken care of. Now, along with iOS 19, we can expect quite a few other updates. So since iOS 19 is so similar, we can expect iPadOS 19 to follow the same sort of design along with watchOS 12. Now, what that means, I don't really know is watchOS is sort of its own thing. It has its own look. It already has round icons. So maybe we'll see something similar or maybe they'll re-architect this as well to be more consistent. Of course, tvOS and HomePod OS are expected to get updates, and we could even see HomeOS, which is expected to be something that's going to be released eventually that we've seen in the code for quite some time. HomeOS is expected to control new devices, maybe a new HomePad that's long been rumored, but at this point we haven't seen it yet. Of course, we're said to get Vision OS 3, which is also said to be a major update, just adding some huge features, but there's not a whole lot about Mac OS just yet. Whether or not it will be the same as what we currently have, we don't really know, but at this point, I think there will be some consistency across all those devices. Now we could get some updates as far as Macs as well. If we get anything, I would expect a Mac Pro M3 Ultra at this point, and also maybe new displays. We've long been seeing that Apple's working on hopefully 120 hertz displays, so maybe a new studio display, maybe even a Pro Display XDR at 120 hertz. We could also see that home device I mentioned a moment ago, so maybe we'll see all of that. iOS 19's public release is expected in September, just like it is every year, so typically they'll release the first beta on June 9th, we'll have consistent betas throughout, and then usually in the second or third week of September, we'll get the public release, so iOS 19 public release, usually the week before we get the next iPhone or iPhone 17. That's usually what Apple rolls out every year, and we can expect the same thing this year. Of course, in the next few weeks, we can expect iOS 17.4 as soon as next week with iOS 17.5 beta one, maybe the same week or the following week. So lots of things to look forward to. We also got a couple updates today as well. Apple updated Apple Music Classical today, so if we take a look at it, it says dive deeper with time-synced listening guides for 150 plus popular works. Enjoy non-stop music with curated stations and get daily personalized recommendations on home. So they've updated this as well. They've also updated the compatibility with DJing apps. So popular DJing apps can now integrate with Apple Music. So that's been updated today as well. Also, PowerBeats Pro 2 have an update today with firmware, but we don't really know exactly what it does at this point. So lots of things have been announced today and updated, and of course WWDC 2025 will have a schedule released a little bit later, letting us know when the events take place, when we can have different sessions available. That will also be in the developer app, and it will give us more information about that. So typically, Apple will release that a little bit later when they send out the official invites, usually in a month or two at this point, or closer to the event itself. So that's everything so far for WWDC 2025. Of course, there's probably a lot we're going to see, and there's probably some things we'll be disappointed with. But let me know what you're looking most forward to with iOS 19, WWDC 25, or anything else you think they'll release there as well. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.